this week Romania entered into its first week of war in World War One in nineteen sixteen. I'm coming the twenty seventh of August to the third or twenty seventh of August to the third of September nineteen sixteen. The Romanians began their headlong advance into Transylvania under the generals of Colsa, Dragomina and uh, Prison and Krenko as well. The Romanians were ill equipped, ill prepared and they did not know what was coming. The Romanians uh, faced uh, a very faced, uh, um, weak Austrian defences, which is why the Romanians were able to advance so far into Transylvania in the first place. Uh, here's a column of Romanian infantry advancing into Transylvania itself. Uh, the Austrian, the, the Austro-Hungarian army was was busy uh, fighting the Russians on the uh, Bristol uh, front and in Italy as well. On the first of September, Sibiu, uh, Hermannskat was liberated by the Romanian army. Hermannskat in German, Sibiu in Romanian. It was, it's a German Saxon town, and I was there in November 2014. It's surrounded by the old fortress walls, uh, which was which by, well, uh, if went, even if you went back from years ago, uh, the, the fortress walls were still being ruined. Were still being ruined. Uh, but if you went back 500 years ago, the walls were there to keep Turks and invasion occupiers out, etc. Uh, and there were no remains inside the city. Uh, but they are outside. Uh, Sibiu was liberated, and in a short time, uh, Brasov would be uh, liberated by the Romanian army. When the Romanians advised into Transylvania, the Austrian defenders were due to the north of Kolmanskak, uh, north of Brasov. Uh, here's a column of Romanian infantry advancing into Transylvania, uh, well, towards Transylvania uh, in Pregel. So you've got the Pregel Pass. Uh, these are the typical uniforms of the Romanian army. Uh, there are um, some historians writing that some Romanians had to actually walk barefoot, and many Romanian soldiers had to, had, were armed without any rifles whatsoever. Uh, because mobilisation, a German, a German a cash, military attached to Bucharest, and noted that mobilisation of the Romanian army weakened a good, compatible army. The Romanian army used to have 420,000 men. But mobilisation outstretched its resources and weakened its defence. So this is the, the crux of the problem for Romania as a whole of entering the war. Romania is flanked on almost all sides by the Central Powers and, uh, and has a hostile ally, Russia, who distrusts Romania over Bessarabia and who, and who has a, a, a monarch it gets a second key can't scan the Romanians. And the Romanian army, as you can see from this side here of the third army, is very much outstretched. Because the Germans and Bulgarians can't get anywhere along here. And basically the the uh, main machinery of the Romanian army was focused on Transylvania because the Romanians get stressed good. The uh, allies on their promises of uh, giving remain to Transylvania. But the, re the on oh yeah on the thirtieth of August, Turkey declared war on Romania. Uh, Turkish forces will be will soon be joining Bulgarian forces and German forces under the direct command of General General August von Mackensen, uh, who was in charge of the Danube army. So it was a mixture of German, Bulgarian, and Turkish troops. Uh, Mackinson uh, was exaggerated and some guys lost patience with his Bulgarian allies because the Bulgarian soldiers chose to loot rather than fight. And the, I, so the Romanians, uh, by this time, in the first week of the war, of their entry into the First World War, were having a pretty good week. And uh, it was one of their few good weeks of uh, 1916. Now they haven't uh, joined the war. Now that they liberated Kormanskat and they liberated Hermanskat as well. 
Uh, King George V sent, sent his set a telegram congratulating, congratulating uh, King Ferdinand and the Romanian government on the decision to enter the war. Little giggle Romanians know that within three months, half the country will be overrun. Because the Germans um, were iron the oil fields of Pazarestri. And they gave you those, they gave you the oil fields, uh, just because the Second World War, so that's the fuel get a war machine. So that's very familiar to the uh, situation with Bush and Iraq. Uh, but anyway, but you can see with their army is so out of strength. If I was commander in chief, I would actually cap Bulgaria rather than capping Transylvania. But hey, the real story is that the Romanians uh, capped Transylvania. Uh, despite the numbers on here, which are totally wrong, uh, 200,000, 200,000, 200,000, 200,000, 200, men, and 60,000 men for reserve, which equal 860,000 men for the main army mobilised. And the Ninth Army did not arrive and kill fully until the 21st of September. That's when things uh, started going badly for the Romanian. In the first week of the war, uh, you wouldn't even have uh, Panzer Balkan here. Panzer Balkan was actually busy fighting the Russians up there. Um, so there was only a few, there was only a few thousand uh, Austrian defenders uh, during this first week of the Romanian campaign. And nevertheless, uh, oh yeah, and also uh, on the Ganyi, the Austrian managers, as soon as Romania declared war, the Austrian Ganyi flotilla uh, became busy and uh, they started bombarding Romanian towns, Ganyi towns that often eat us there, they started bombarding uh, Giorgio and they started uh, bombarding Zimbabwe. And at Zimbabwe, the as I'm saying, they destroyed uh, one Romanian batch battery, uh, which was totally destroyed. Uh, the Romanian, uh, the Romanian gang of the uh, did actually have skirmishes with the Austrian flotilla, but the Romanian navy was small and insignificant and did not play a major role. And this gang of legal Romanian finances were not as great as Germany and Britain's, so it could not muster um, uh, large amounts of equipment. The main army was very weak in artillery shells, weak, had no gas, uh, was weak in machine guns, uh, was really unprepared uh, for a um, for a modern war. The British military attached to said Romania, uh, Romania would be a uh, burden to the Allies rather than a significant uh, player uh, for the Allies, which is certainly true in 1916, but in the summer of 1917 that, that did change. Uh, focusing on the first week of the Romanian War, uh, the war was going well for the Romanians, they're advancing to Transylvania, but seeing uh, the Royal Palace, which was turned into a hospital, was overflowing with the wounded uh, men from all fronts. And on the 1st of September, Bulgaria declared war on Romania, and German aircraft, uh, namely Zeppelins, uh, got bombs on Bucharest. And that is the wrap.